All right, guys, we hooked up again. Something's running with it. Whatever this is, it's fast. It's running all over. Ooh! Whoa, mama! Whoa, mama! He's gonna get wrapped in them pilings. I'm gonna have to back him out of there. Ooh, that looks like a nice bull red. That looks like a nice redfish, guys. That looks like a nice redfish, guys. This looks like a nice redfish, guys. Oh, yeah, baby. Beautiful redfish, guys. Golden red. Golden red. Stunning looking redfish. Look at this beautiful redfish, guys. Golden red. Look at that pretty girl there. That's why we come out and do it, baby. That's why we come out and do it. New spot, same, same techniques, guys. Same strategies, putting the same practices to work, right? That's the key here. If I can get them, look at her. That's just a beautiful redfish, guys. I mean, that's gonna go 23, 24. Just a beautiful, beautiful fish. And I'm using the same strategies I use all over, right? So. It's all about positioning yourself and making sure that you're putting those techniques to work over and over again. <laughs> putting those techniques to work over and over again. Showing the crowd, you know I like doing that. Got a lot of people that take this, that ride along these, this beach every morning. And it's come a tradition when I'm out here. They see me and a lot of times I'm, I'm holding up big beautiful fish so they can uh, get a get a picture. So, um, yeah, like I was saying guys, same techniques, same strategy. Let that tide do the work. And, uh, the results will come. You, you gotta put in the time and effort though. That's the darn sure. Put in the, the scouting. Right, let's see if we can get him off. That bail. All right. I think this girl's gonna go home with us, be honest with you. Another beautiful red. That's gorgeous, guys. Absolutely stunning. God, I love doing this. There's nothing better than this, I can tell you that right now. It's heaven. Heaven on earth. Oh, here we go, guys. Hooked up. Kind of, he hit me on the run in. Big, big speckled trout, guys. Big speckled trout. Check it out. Check it out. Big, beautiful speckled trout. Oh, he's not as big as I thought he was. But he's nice. He'll go 15. Oh, he'll go 15, guys. Beautiful, beautiful trout. Big reason why I'm coming out here early. Oh, he's grunting, too. That's a male. So if, if you ever catch a speckled trout, guys, and you hear him grunting, um, that means they're a male. All right, let me show you, let me show you all what I'm doing here. I mentioned uh, on some other content that I was... I was uh, trying a new area. Same general area, but some new stretch of beach. And what I'm doing here, look at this old, broken up uh, boathouse. Was a pier boathouse, okay? And the tide's at my back, working from my back to the front of me, right? Wind's at my back, working from back to the front. I'm utilizing both of those occurrences 
to fish this structure. You can see I'm working this structure. Oh, oh, down. Oh, there it is, guys. This feels like a good one. Loosen the drag up here. This feels like a good fish, guys. Oh, he's got some weight on him. He's got some weight on him, guys. I'm gonna force it. Okay, it looks like a nice drum. Okay, I've been catching big, big flounder this morning. I didn't want a horse man. I've already pulled the pulled the hook on one. It's a nice drum. Nice puppy drum, guys. I'll take it. Okay. I was just trying to take it easy because I've I've caught I've caught three flounder this morning and well was able to get two in and one I pulled the hook thinking it it wasn't a flounder but it's a that's a pretty that's the size I like to eat too guys you know that y'all know that if you watch the channel this is my go-to delicious delicious let's get this girl off let's get this girl off get her in the net grunting up on something here guys looks like he's got a little weight to him oh, hopefully it's not another stingray oh my god it's a huge flounder it's a it's a dorm oh man look at this thing guys i'm at a loss for words i'm at a loss for words Look at this flounder. Guys, you got to be kidding me. This is an absolute doormat. Oh. Huge. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm speechless right now. I was not expecting to pull up. A 22 inch flounder out of the water oh guys absolute doormats today oh my goodness guys look at that just monsters today guys oh and he played he played dead he's old school you can tell because he played like he wasn't even hooked oh these are some these are just oh man okay guys i'm sorry Whew. these are some stud flounders today delicious at that okay let me get him off jeez hooked up baby all right guys we are hooked up on a nice fish not sure what it is nice sheep head guys nice sheep head right there Nice little sheep head. Good eat for sheep head too, guys. That's right on the cuffs there. Just working this structure right here. Just working like I've been doing, a, working this old boat, this, this old beat up boat house. That's a perfect little sheep head there. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful little thing. And he, he smoked it. We got some, we got some high winds right now. So I, I put the cork away and uh, went ahead and pulled out the, the bottom rig. And uh, pulled them out the, pulled out the bottom rig to see if I, I can't focus on the bottom as far as the structure a little more with the with the wind and the water it's hard that course all over the place you know so let's keep at it that's a nice fish let's see if we can't catch another one
All right, guys. I'm not sure what we got here. Feels heavy. Not sure what we're working with here, guys. Working at Old Ravage Boathouse again. Oh, look at that, guys. That's a big... That looks like a huge sail catfish, guys. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Look at that massive sail cat, guys. Look at that thing there. Goodness gracious. Also referred to as gaff tops. Look at that thing. That's a hammer. That's a hammer. That's a hammer gaff top catfish. Ooh, that will slime your line though, boys and girls. Look at all that slime on it. Nasty. But we're gonna get him off. Some people, you can eat these. You can actually eat these. Uh, these catfish aren't too bad to eat. Problem, you just got to deal with the, the, you know, you got your pokers and stuff you got to deal with. So a lot of people don't, don't hang on to them. Just because of that a reason. But the meat's not like a hard head. The meat's a lot cleaner and whiter due to the fact how they feed and what they feed on. They're not bottom dwellers. So... All right, let's see if we can get him off. Let's see if I can get him off the hook. Thought I had a redfish for a minute. Look at the mouth on that thing. I tell you what. I hear you, buddy. You ready to get off, huh? I'm ready to get you off, that's for sure. There we go. Goodness. Dude, that's gotta be a eight pound gas top. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that episode. Uh, it was actually two days of fishing, wade fishing. I did catch a few more fish in that, but I tried to kind of pick out the highlights of those of those trips. One day it was extremely windy, so I didn't stay out there, but a couple hours, caught a few fish. Uh, but I tried to uh, put a good bit of content in from the first day. Caught a bunch of fish, redfish, sheephead, you name it. It was a, it was a really good morning. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that content got a lot of big things going on uh, with casting coastal lately uh, i actually partnered with sea mule uh, the number one wade fishing cart in america they also make beach carts they also make pier carts uh, so keep an eye out for that my content moving forward you'll see me actually using the wade fishing cart uh, from sea mule and we'll do some content on just the cart on what it brings uh, to you while you're wade fishing and some of the advantages you have to be able to have some extra items with you while you're wade fishing. Uh, so I'm really excited the partnership with Sea Mule. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be real useful for the average wade fisher fisherman and there's definitely some opportunity there. If you're looking to get into wade fishing, you can take advantage um, of the card. But like I said, we'll create a separate video for all that and on the the video is moving forward you'll see the cart and i'll talk more and more about that so um that's it as far as that goes for now um but on the front as far as fishing goes it's extremely hot right now so let's try to focus on some of the structure some of the shaded areas like i mentioned in the video that's key right now but really man this is a dog days of summer we're looking for we're looking for that first cool front to come through if we can get that first cool front to come through the fishing's going to really explode um, it's just trying to last these last few weeks uh, remaining that we have before we get some cooler weather. But there's still an opportunity there to catch some nice fish, uh, which I've showed you on this 
on this episode, but we just got to kind of keep pushing along. Guys, again, thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the uh, all the likes, the shares. If you know somebody that would like this content, please share it with them. Uh, we truly appreciate all the support. And look, like I say on every video, all we're trying to do on this video is help the average guy out that's looking to catch some fish, looking to get out there on the weekend. Truly just trying to help that average person out, let them enjoy the weekend with their kids. If you have any questions, if you have any any input, any insight, I'd be more than happy to help you. Um, you guys know at this point uh, on the channel that that's really my focus is, is really helping folks be able to put a few fish in a box on the weekend. All right, guys, that's it for now. Stay tuned, got a lot happening uh, with Casting Coastal as we move forward. But for now, make sure y'all keep casting.